How's it going guys? It's Limit here and uh, if you've seen my past streams or gameplay videos and you see me use this keyboard, it's a very loud uh, blue MX style mechanical keyboard. Um, it's pretty loud. I really like the, the tactile feel about it, but it's time to move on. Logitech just released a new keyboard called the G413 and this is the silver edition which I feel like would go very nice with my setup and it's exclusive to Best Buy. Huh. So here it is guys, the Logitech G413 Silver. Let's go ahead and unbox this right now. So before we start this unboxing, let's get this keyboard out of the way. Um, the way I had it set up is that I have it under this desktop monitor to hide the wire. So let's just find the wire behind my computer and unplug it. Now this is a perfectly good working keyboard so I'm obviously going to be keeping it just in case something happens or if I find another use for this. Nothing's gonna go to waste. Let's say goodbye to the keyboard. Here it is guys. The Logitech G14 silver keyboard. Best Buy exclusive white backlit keys. Romer G switches which is a kind of a MX Brown mock-up copy of these switches, but this is Logitech's own version. As you can see, it's a very nice metallic silver. We'll see how it looks in person. So let's go ahead and crack this open. There we go. Let's take this off. So this is the sleeve right here. Sorry guys, I had to move that out a bit just so you could see a little bit more. Uh, it has separate keycaps that you could use. Uh, I'm probably just going to use the default ones. It does come with a key uh, puller, but I'm not going to be needing that. But it's really nice that it includes it out of the box. It also has a USB pass-through, which is something my Black Widow uh, X did not have. So it would be pretty interesting to see what this is. Now, as for opening this box, it's very simple. There you have it. Here's the keyboard itself. I would really like if they had a 10 keyless version of this, as I'm pretty a, pretty much a big fan of having that really low profile 10 keyless. This looks really nice. Uh, besides that, you pretty much have nothing else. You have a manual that you're not going to be reading, probably for installation on the application. And then on the bottom bar, you have another box that I don't know how to open. So right under that you have additional keycaps that you could try on. Uh, these have like a nice divoted um, area for your finger. Uh, it has the QWERTY, WASD, and the number pads that you could change out. But I'm going to be keeping the regular keys. Also has that keycap puller like I said. Pretty nice to have, pretty handy. As for the keyboard itself, let's go ahead and take off this plastic. So there you have it guys, the G413 in all of its glory. Like I said, it has a really nice metallic feel. Probably going to move the camera a little bit closer for some B-roll shots just so you guys can see what this really looks like. Um, you have two USB cables. One is for the pass-through itself and the other one is for the actual keyboard. So um, I don't know if I have two spots open. But uh, we'll see how this works out. But it'll be pretty handy to have a nice uh, extra slot in there. All right, let's go ahead and plug this in. Like every keyboard, they have this regular, these feet on the bottom that you could use to extend, which is what I'm going to do right here. We're going to feed this underneath my monitor riser. Nice, thick, reinforced cable. I really like the quality of this cable. It's not going to break anytime soon. It's not going to wear out. Especially if you're not really moving a lot, they're set up. This might be a problem for people who have these types of... I see some people who have desk setups that they have the keyboard going through their desk. This might be a little thick for that, but uh, we'll see. There we have it, guys move everything back because I moved everything around trying to plug it in. 
move this in its spot where it's supposed to be. I'm really liking this profile, guys. Still has a nice click to it, not as loud as the uh, definitely not as loud as the regular uh, Black Widow that I used to have. So for comparisons, I'm going to go get the Black Widow that I just put away, and uh, we're going to compare the sound of the keycaps. I'm going to put the microphone pretty close to the uh, the keycaps so you could really get a feel of how uh, different they are. Um, I really like the feel of the hand of the typing experience. You still get that tactical click, but you're not really getting the you're getting that tactical click that you could feel with the regular mechanical keyboards, but you're not really getting that loud typewriter type sound out of like a blue switch. Let's open notepad. This seems a little bit bright. I might turn that down. It doesn't look like this gets notified. I'm pretty sure this would probably just be, yeah. Okay, so they, you have to hold down the FN key and F7, which could change the, the backlighting. There's no keyboard, um, there's no software that's needed, which I kind of like. You also have that pass-through on the back, but you need to use another port on the back of your computer, which I don't really mind. I don't have an open slot as of now, but uh, it's really handy to have because especially um, I could use that pass-through for my charger, which... Now that I realized, is using a USB on the back of my laptop. Give me one second, let's see how this works. Okay guys, so I usually have this docking station for my iPhone plugged in, but um, I just realized it was taking up a slot on the back of my laptop. I took that out and I plugged the other pass-through into my keyboard. So let's see if this works real quick. And there you go. Charging works. Pretty sure this comes up. Yes, my iPhone does come up on the browser. Pull this up real quick. My iPhone does come up on the browser. So it's working just fine. Not sure if pass through uh, data speeds are affected. But there you have it, guys. Just for comparison, I'm going to get the Black Widow Chroma X back and see what the differences feel like and sound like. Okay, we're gonna be going handheld for this right now. I'm just gonna show you right now. This is a little bit um, of a bad setup, but I'm actually using the pass-through on this keyboard to power on the other keyboard. So we're just gonna do some quick tests on how the difference between the Romer G switches and the, I don't even know what Razer calls it, but the MX Cherry Blue switch, uh, whatever Razer calls it. So uh, let's do some tests right now. That was the Razer Black Widow. And now for the G413. So I could already tell, even wearing the headset, and I can't really hear myself speak, especially if I have mic monitoring on, but it's, it just sounds different. Um, I could tell this, this, this is a lot quieter. Um, this is a little bit more subdued in terms of sound. It looks nice in my opinion. Just take a look at that. Like I said, it has that really nice pass-through that uh, I never had on my Razer. Oh shit, I have a scratch on that. Oh, never mind, that's part of the design. Cool. I thought that was, not sure if that's going to focus. I thought I had a scratch on that. I think that's actually a sticker. Okay, thank God it's a freaking sticker. <laughs> I thought I had a scratch on it already. I almost got pissed off. So, there's going to be a little sticker on that, uh, that Logitech sign. Okay, don't get scared shitless like I just did. But yeah, guys, that's just about it. I wanted to show you guys an unboxing. I'm not sure how many of these are out. Probably a lot, but uh, I've been hearing that this is exclusively for Best Buy with the the uh, white keycaps and the silver finish. You can get this in black with red keycaps, 
but like I said, the red and black kind of looks a little eh, gamer cheesy-ish, and I really wouldn't recommend it. But for this G413 silver keyboard, I really like it. So far, the first impressions is really great. Um, it's only $89.99, so you're paying 90 bucks for this keyboard. Pretty think it's well worth it. Like I said, I would really like it if they made maybe a 10 keyless version because I really like that compact size and I could possibly like fit it under here when I'm not using it. But uh, that's about it guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any comments or concerns, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike it, give it a dislike, but let me know what I did wrong so I could improve on my videos. Have a good one guys and take it easy.